Okay, so here's my winter version of the field grass on a uh, War Machine terrain board. In fact, I can zoom out and show a little bit more on my winter board here. And um, basically, the way that uh, area terrain, like actually these trees, and this field grass works, is that the reason I put individual elements here is if I did just a, a solid piece and glued the strands onto this large area, it wouldn't be very flexible as a terrain piece. I'd I'd get to a spot where a figure could reach and I'd have to prop them up on top of the train to be falling over, chip your paint, mess up. It would look nasty anyway. It would look silly. So the individual elements, the idea is if figures move in, you know, you're measuring, you're moving your figures in, all right, and let's say they get to a point where there's a big piece of terrain, you basically move that terrain out of the way or you just take that element all, all together. All right, so I could move my whole squad in here and whatever pieces I need to move, okay, I move them, okay, and uh, you know, take them off my playing board and now I've got my uh, units in the area terrain. That's kind of the idea. Now, um, another thing that makes area terrain like this nice where you can pull out or move around you know, individual elements to get out of the way of the figures is there's no debate about if the figures are in that concealing terrain or not. You can basically say, okay, with this area terrain, with this oval, anything on top of that oval is in the tall grass and gets the uh, plus two concealment to their, de to their DEF, to their defense, all right? And so the same thing with these trees, you could say, okay, in these trees, all right, uh, like this figure here, like the butcher who's in the trees, he is on this oval that marks the base of this area terrain. So, um, you know, and these trees come off too the same way. As long as he's in that oval, he is in the terrain, he gets the tree cover. There's no debate about is he behind the tree, does he get the cover, because we're going to, you know, what you see is what you get and that kind of thing. If he's on the disc, the large base, he's in the cover. All right, so going back to our field grass, okay, it's the same concept, right? That's the way that it works. All right, so it's really kind of a beautiful thing. You move the pieces out of the way, and then if you want to, you know, it's for fun, once the figures move out of the tall grass, although I think these uh, Widowmakers should stay in there, um, you know, you just put your train elements back, all right, and uh, make it look pretty again. You could certainly fill this up with a, a lot more elements and make it very solidly filled with tall grass and take out elements. I've kind of sparsely populated this. I think, you know, as far as visual effect and visual appeal, that number of elements does the job, okay? And I just want to remind you, you know, we've also got, you know, the, the summer elements, and on a summer board, it would work very much the same way. You just take the pieces out as, as you need them. All right, so that, I really like area terrain because it eliminates the debate. If they're on the, the base of the terrain, they get the terrain, in this case, the tall grass cover, which is to concealment, plus two. All right, and so um, you just move these elements out of the way when you need to. Now, I do want to mention that if you're not crazy about the area terrain, you can certainly build these tall grass elements, especially in ovals, right, like this, and put them on your board loosely, right, and um, then they're behind the cover. You know, you could do those as cover like that. In fact, this is very flexible when you make bigger pieces like this, or even smaller pieces. Um, we'll just say we're going to get rid of this area terrain altogether. Maybe you don't like the, the feel or look of that. Now we're just going to do our tall grass, right? And you can clump it as such and use them as, you know, loose elements on your board. And basically the, the concealment works the same way, but uh, without the base. I like the base. You don't need to do it, but that's, you know, kind of the idea. So anyway, I hope you like this train tutorial and this tutorial on how you would use this train on the, on the War Machine game board or hordes board. And uh, yeah, I hope you try to make some of your own. Just got to find some coconut mat. Try a hardware store, discount store. Shouldn't be too bad. Shouldn't be too hard to find. Ask around if you need to. Ask in the forums at Privateer Press if you need to. I'm sure um, I'll be there or other people will be there that can give you a hand. And um, yeah, this is Garrison for Iron Kingdoms at War signing off. I hope you enjoyed this train tutorial. Happy wargaming, everybody.